Today, I'm gonna to show you what you can do with retail's end of call reports. If you've tried this before, you know it can be confusing. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to handle all of this, but without the headaches. Let's dive into it. My name is Alejo, co-founder of Amplify Voice. I've been an AI engineer and data scientist for the last seven years, and my mission is to help you build better voice agents that are actually ready for the real world. And what you're about to see is one component of building a great voice AI business. Remember, you can get this automation for yourself. You don't have to build it from scratch. You can get it from the school community by clicking on the first link below. Our first objective is getting all of the useful information that happens during the call into this Google Sheet, where we'll get the call ID, the contact first name, all the things we need in order to understand what happened during the call. We are going to insert the end of call webhook, the production URL, and then we're gonna paste it into the agent level webhook URL in your retail agent. And you see how here, when I click on schema and then I pull up the headers, I see an event call analyzed. That's the one we want, but that's not the only one that retail sends. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll start a call and immediately I'm going to get a request, a webhook from retail with some details about the call. Well, this purely represents that the call started, but that's not what we care about today. Then when I end the call, I'm going to get another webhook. Now I got the call ended webhook, which again, simply lets us know that, hey, this call in retail ended. But that's also not the information that we want. What we want is the third webhook. And when I open that up, bam, I see call analyzed. So that third webhook is the one you want. That's exactly what the second module is for. We're checking that what we're getting from the webhook from retail is the call analyzed and only the call analyzed. The reason we do this is to ensure that the data that we're getting is the data that we want to pass through to the Google Sheet. And that's level one. We now have the data that we want inside of the Google Sheet, including the transcript, including the summary. But we actually have some other things in here too. You see this voicemail, appointment booked, curious, not interested, curious was true, but the other ones were false. Where, where is this coming from? Well, that's one of the opportunities that retail gives you. I'm choosing GPT-40 to analyze their call and get the report on each of these elements. I go to add and I can select, hey, GPT output text or output one of these options or output true or false or a number. In this case, we're going to go with Boolean, meaning true or false. And we're going to go with one that we've been using, which is the appointment booked. Now we're going to add a description of how do we determine if this was successful or not. And the description is output true if an appointment was successfully booked with a confirmation from the book appointment function, otherwise output false. And that's all your agent needs to get really accurate data on what happened. And in this case, for my last call, we'll see that curious is true and everything else is false. You also have the recording URL right here to download the file and listen to it. And that is level one of handling end of call reports. Now let's look at level two, actually updating a CRM. So we're just going to delete the Google Sheets module. You can keep it if you want to keep track of it, but we're going to add this HubSpot module. You can also use Go High Level or any CRM that you use and update a contact with the information from the call. In this case, we're just going to stick with HubSpot, but the implementation is really the same. By the way, it's normal to get stuck here, and that's why we have a whole community dedicated to helping you get unstuck. So you'll see that nothing else has changed except this module. The difference between using a Google Sheet and a CRM is that for a CRM, you'll usually need an identifier like an email or a phone number. In this case, we're using HubSpot, so we're going to need the email. So what I'm doing with my agent is adding some post call analysis. What, are, what is our objective? Our objective is to book an appointment. We also want to capture an email. So each of these is going to serve its purpose. This one is going to capture the email. So I'm going to give the agent a call and uh, go through the flow and uh, uh, give it in my email. And then we'll see it come back on the other side. Hello. Hey, Alejo. I'm Saya, the AI agent from Amplify Voice. By the way, this call is being recorded for training. Um, you inquired about our AI voice solutions. I'm calling to set up your intro call with our Chief Relationships Officer, Paige, to see if we're the right fit for each other. Paige has some availability before 5 p.m. Eastern on weekdays. 
when works for you? Um, how about Friday 2 p.m. Eastern? Let me see if that time's available. Great, Friday at 2 p.m. Awesome. If you can send me the invite to Alejo at AmplifyVoice.ai, that'd be great. Absolutely, Alejo. The invite will go straight to your email at Alejo at AmplifyVoice.ai. Just keep an eye out and accept it when it lands in your inbox. Anything else I can help with before we wrap up? Mm, that's it. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Have a... Okay, awesome. So any second now, we're going to see the uh, call analyzed come in. We're going to pin this data so I can show you the uh, uh, how we're actually going to extract that email, right? So we're going to close a bunch of these that we don't actually need. We're going to close the transcript, transcript, latency, cost until we get to call analysis. This is the stuff that we want. And what I show you is now the email got captured along with some other data. The one we actually care about is the appointment booked, right? And the booking details. So we can use the email that we captured. We can just drag and drop. And then for additional details, we're going to do the booking successful details. Okay, so the call ends, the appointment got booked, and we should be good to go here. This is going to make it, the drag and drop is going to make it so every single time these are dynamic. And based on the results of the call is what contact gets updated based on the email. And uh, uh, what are the booking details for that contact? Awesome. So now when we test this step, update contact, we can see success, the contact got updated correctly, awesome. And that is the level two, how do you upload the data back into the CRM. But sometimes we're gonna want to know more than just, hey, what are the booking details? Because these calls are dynamic, the agent is dynamic. So how do we tackle when multiple things are true? So let me go back to these results. You see how curious is true and appointment booked is also true? How do you prioritize the end of call analysis? And that is level three. And this beautiful switch module is the one that's gonna allow us to make that happen. That based on the different outcomes, I can search analysis here and get that. Okay, so based on the different outcomes, you know how appointment booked is true and curious is also true we can prioritize the outcomes that we actually want. And they're in this order in this case. If you reached voicemail, that outcome gets prioritized first. We would put it back in the, in the queue to queue the next call. This is in Go High Level, for example, uh, and then send that information back to HubSpot. If the appointment was booked, we want that to take priority over uh, if the person is curious and asking them extra questions. If, we, if they booked an appointment, that's what we care about. If the curious not interested and if there's an error, what happens? We get a Slack notification. So this is level three. It's a lot more components working together, but it's that much more powerful. And this is what we deploy for clients. So how you're going to set this switch up is drag and drop, just like we did before. We can say, um, reach voicemail. Okay, well, what's the variable for reach voicemail? Is this one. And this one, we want it to be true. If it's true, um, then we go this route. If it's false, we check the next variable over appointment booked, right? So we're prioritizing and we can move these around. We're prioritizing the outcomes based on uh, what happens next. And this is so customizable. We've literally had eight different outcomes prioritized in a very dynamic way where the client is getting exactly what they want. Appointments booked and that information going back to their HubSpot. So do you really need this switch module? Why don't you just set up a variable to say what is the outcome? Well, this is a lot less accurate. This way, we are actually checking and prioritizing in a more traditional way, which is true and false, but it's so much more accurate because real conversations are nuanced. So this is the most accurate most dynamic way that we have seen in order to create end of call reports that are actually valuable to clients. So once the outcome gets decided in the switch module, we will set up this call outcome manually, which is in this case, the curious path based on that email that we got and the call outcome or the one we actually got, which is the appointment book, the one we actually prioritize because curious was also true. Uh, and then we can send that information back into HubSpot based on the email and the call outcome. You can add other details too, right? Like the appointment details, all that stuff. 
and that is level three, which is routing based on the outcome, the different actions that you want to take. So there you have it. The three levels of appointment booking where you can go through Google Sheets, make it very simple and fast through a CRM to make your customer happy or to actually wow them, which is a routing system, but that based on what happens during the call is what different actions we take and then also make our customer happy by putting it back into their CRM. And that's all you need to know to handle end of call reports with retail. So are you going to face trouble? Are you going to get errors? Yes, of course, that always happens. And that's why we're here to help. We have build hours twice a week, workshops and sales hours, and we have an amazing community of builders helping each other to grow and build better voice agents. So I hope to see you there uh, and, and hope that you can become part of the community. Thank you so much. And remember to never stop prompting.